Hi everyone, I'm Boon, and today I'm going to share my first impression with Godot, specifically on the XR game dev part. Quick disclaimer, it's a very subjective experience shared by me, a person who started learning Godot less than a month ago, so take everything with a grain of salt. Right off the bat, I'm really impressed by how lightweight the XR plugin is on Godot. In fact, it's zero weight, there's no plugin to install. It's all built into the engine out of the box. This saves you a lot of hassles and makes it easy to get started with XR development. The project setup is also very smooth. I was able to follow the guide in the documentation and get everything up and running without any problems. It took me about 50 minutes, but most of that time was spent reading the documentation. I'm confident that I could do it again in under 3 minutes now. You know what? Let's do it again with a timer. So, I just have to create the project. In the project settings, turn on OpenXR and the shader. Under the root node, add an XR origin node. Then under it, add an XR camera node and two XR controller nodes. Set them to the left and right hand respectively. Then copy a script from the documentation, paste it to the root node. To let us see what's going on, I'll add a plane mesh as the floor. A directional light. And a cube for each hand. Save the scene, run it and BAM! A working VR game. 2 minutes, not bad. If I'm on Unity, I would probably still be waiting in the project creation stage. The VR project is basically set up now. From here, we can either implement our own game mechanics, or make use of the Godot XR tools, which is made by these lovely people. It's basically an equivalent to the XR Interaction Toolkit in Unity. You can use it to implement locomotion and basic interactions like grabbing stuff and such. Another thing I'm surprised by is the built-in pass-through and hand tracking support. Is this some sort of magic? How did they manage to fit all this into an engine that's only 114 megabytes? Implementing them is also easy. For pass-through, all you need to do is copy a piece of code from the documentation and paste it into your script. Of course, you can't see the pass-through effect from here because the headset doesn't allow streaming of it due to privacy reasons. But trust me bro, it's working. To implement hand tracking, just add two open XR hand nodes into the XR origin node and set them to left and right respectively. Then add the hand model to each of them and link up the skeleton. Everything has been easy and smooth so far, but nothing is perfect. 
and so does Godot. I did encounter some roadblocks and issues in the journey. The first thing is a lack of c -sharp support for Android. That is obviously very important if you are using c -sharp and targeting Meta's Quest lineup or the Pico headsets. You have three options here. Don't use c -sharp, then you can work on a stable 4.1.2 build. Use the older Godot 3.5 which has full support for c -sharp on Android. Wait for Godot 4.2, which should be released around November 2023. Alternatively, you can use the preview version of it. I've also encountered an issue with exporting to Android, despite following every step in the documentation. This error message is honestly not very helpful. Fortunately, I noticed that the build dialog was printing something before it was replaced by the arrow dialog. I had to fire up OBS to record the build dialog so I could read the output. Apparently, I have another version of JDK installed on my PC. Some tweaks in the environment variables fixed the issue. Despite some hiccups during the setup, I would still say the process is fairly easy, and I'm very impressed with Godot XR. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.